Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My hair looks super crazy, I know, but we are in a new area, very messy right now, but it will be different shortly. Um, today we did this gorgeous little purple, orange, full cut crease look, I guess you could say. I'm kind of obsessed with it. If you are too and you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. <music> This lash is freaking gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some tape and then we are going to jump into the eye look. So taking the James Charles palette and the Morphe M433 blending brush, go in first with this yellow shade. I already primed my lid and set it and all that. So we're going to take this yellow shade and start blending it into the crease. taking the Morphe M441 blending brush I'm gonna go in with this light orange shade and put it a little bit higher than the yellow this AOA studio e129 flat brush I'm gonna go in with this hot pink shade and start packing it in the outer V into the crease Okay, so I just quickly took the Luxie 245 small shader brush and this white concealer from AOA Studio. This is the best whitest concealer I have ever used and it's only a dollar. So we went ahead and did a full cut crease and now we're going to pack a purple all over my lid. So the purple in the James Charles palette actually sucks really bad, even when you apply it with your fingers. So I'm going to go in with this dupe. Um, it is from fantasy i think it's off of amazon or something but i'm going to take this light purple and i'm going to apply it just using my finger so it looks like this and we're just going to pack it all over my lid i'm going to take this bh cosmetics 102 flat brush and it actually picks up on a brush unlike the james charles see that so we're just gonna do the edges and i'm totally not talking trash on the james charles but i'm just saying um the shimmers kind of suck and this palette right here was like 15 bucks and it's better so The next thing I'm going to do is the glitter. So I'm going to use the Hard Candy Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner. So it looks like this. Um, if you hear that weird noise, it's the ceiling fan. I had to turn it on because that was so hot. So, But we're just going to take it and trace it along the crease. Alright, so I went ahead and did my wing too um, because I take forever so I figured I would just do it off camera. But I used two liners, so this is the glossy liner. The end is so chubby, so I like it. And then I used the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is a sample, so I used that to get really up here in the front and then the uh, big side to get to the end. I'm going to take this AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Highlighter and Tiara and I'm going to use the IBY Beauty little shader brush and we're going to highlight under my brow with this. Alright, so now we're going to throw on some mascara. I'm going to use the Unique Epic Mascara in just black. Alright, for lashes, I got these lashes off of eBay, I believe, so I will have to link down the actual shop that I got them from. But these are in the style 5D90, like that, and then that's the style name. So these are super bold, so freaking pretty. So we're going to go ahead and just pop this one on. So I just took some duo brush on lash glue, and now I have it on the lash already. So we're just going to let it get kind of tacky. 
I have my tweezers and we're just going to pop this on. Okay, so I'm going to take the Smashbox primer and we're just going to rub this into the skin. Okay, so I have the Ayla Mode Cream Luminizer in the shade Lustrous from Unique. I do believe this isn't available anymore, but I went ahead and put it all over my face. I will drop down some uh, dupes or um, products that are like that. And then we have my foundation on this flat BH Cosmetics Kabuki brush. So we're just going to go ahead and blend this all in. So I have my concealer on, so we're going to blend it out too. Alright, so I'm just going to add, um, I'm sorry that I haven't been using new products. It's just with the move and everything that's going on, I haven't had time to actually go to a beauty store and get some new items. I... The newest item I got was the 39S palette, so um, drop down below some new stuff that has launched that you want to see reviews over, and I will definitely try and get it before it is no longer considered new. But to set my face, I use the NYC Smooth Skin BB Radiance Perfecting Powder, and I just set my whole face with it. So now to bronze it up, I'm going to use the Unique um, Loose Powder Bronzer that I always use this brush from the right brush strokes I think is what it's called the right stroke something like that I'll list it down below from LMB cosmetics and that's what we're going to use to bronze the face so I'm just going in tap off the excess Can you see the difference from bronze to nothing? I love a bronze face. Okay, so for more of a defined contour, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 8H um, Contouring and Highlight Palette. I'm gonna go in with Blogger right here, and that's what we're gonna use to bronze up the face, and I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics number three contouring brush came in a brush set. I've had it forever. Again, I will list it down below. This AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in Matte Translucent. And we're just going to take it and carve out my contour. I will add this has a lot of flashback. So don't use it if you're doing pictures and stuff like that. The same eight, no, just kidding. What did I use? Morphe Contour Highlight Palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here to highlight and I'm gonna use the Slim Miss Glam L36 highlighting brush. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I did a combination of this green, this blue, and then this blue in the front. So it's like a shimmer blue. I think it's so pretty. So now we're going to put a liner in the waterline and do my lower lash mascara. Okay, so I just did white in the um, water, what is it called? Waterline. And then I used the Epic Mascara again. So now we're going to do some blush and then we'll just have lips. Alright, so we're going to take some blush and... I actually got this Jeffree Star um, lip scrub like a long time ago and I haven't even opened it or tried it so we're going to try it today. Um, it's a Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in Blueberry Pie. I'm just gonna open this. This is the 
the jar looks like. It does smell like fruity pebbles. Smells like fruity pebbles. Okay, so we're just gonna scoop some up just like that. Okay, so I went ahead and took that off. My lips do feel a lot smoother. So, so far, I would give it a yes. For lips, I'm going to take this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Soft Spoken. It's just a really pretty nude. And I'm not going to line my lips. Okay, so I do want a gloss. So I'm going to use this Diamond Lip Gloss from AOA Studio in the shade Glitz. And we're just going to pop this all over. So this is just a close-up of the finished look. Alright guys, so this is the finished video. If you did enjoy it or if you did enjoy me, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. And if you hit the little notification bell, every time that I upload, you will be notified. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Drop down some videos you would love to see. The vlog channel is gonna happen eventually. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please tell me down below and I will see you guys in my next video.